Our skin comes in all tones, textures, and temperaments. Because of these differences, it is critical that we understand and care for our skin correctly and use the right products, ingredients, and regimens for our unique skin type. Now comes the revolutionary, scientifically validated skin typing system that is changing the way people think about skin care, regardless of your skin's color, condition, your age, or even the climate where you live. Join Dr. Leslie Bauman, board-certified dermatologist, former professor, clinical researcher, and New York Times best-selling author, as she meets six women from across the country on a journey to discover their skin type and skin type solutions. This rosacea, it's been pretty devastating to me because even though I'm fairly confident, it still affects the way you appear to other people and how they perceive you. So with that, it makes a huge difference in the way you feel about yourself. It's very common to see people feel emotional about acne and rosacea. I think those are two heart-wrenching conditions that people feel very self-conscious about, especially rosacea. It comes and goes. Um, a lot of the prescription medications don't work very well for it and people don't understand it and they don't know what they're doing to cause it. What do you wash your face with? I have a little sponge mm -hmm. that I use. It's kind of a, a got texture to it. Mm -hmm. I feel like it cleans it really good. One huge issue we found is that she's using the salufa and that's probably causing most of her damage because all of that friction and rubbing on, vigorously on the skin is causing inflammation. Plus, she's reusing the same loofah over and over. So if bacteria is playing a role in her rosacea, then that might be causing it. Anything rough for you is not good. We, we want a soft cloth. Okay. When you put it on, put it on real gently. Common characteristics of rosacea are facial pimples, flushing, broken and dilated blood vessels, sometimes inflammation of the eyes, and sometimes enlargement of the nose. Sharon Jo Nachman lives in Miami Beach. She's in her 30s. She's been battling acne for many years. This acne makes it difficult for her to find a sunscreen she can use, and she does spend a lot of time outdoors in Miami Beach. My skin gets irritated, and the result of the acne shows and becomes more flared, so it's noticeable. I mean, I'm in my 30s, and I'm having teenage acne. There you go. Or one more. You had washed your face about 30 minutes before the pictures and you already made a lot of oil, not just in your T-zone, but across your cheeks and here and your chin. So absolutely, we know you're an oily type. So if you look where it looks really light here, that's where you have a lot of bacteria, across your T-zone. And that's also a lot of the areas where you're breaking out. So this gives us an idea that part of your problem is bacteria on your skin. So you have a lot of oil and a lot of bacteria. Okay, so now we're going to look in the 3D image at your skin. So this picture here shows us that you have a lot of melanin production, which means you're probably getting way too much sun. And then this shows the red in your skin, and it, you can see where all your pimples are or where you're about to get pimples. Okay. It's, it's kind of red. So what happens is the bacteria that, that eats the oil and lives on your skin when it eats the oil and the dead skin cells, it lets off all these inflammatory factors. It makes you red. So that's why we see you red in all the same places that we saw the bacteria in the other camera. From now on, I know what kind of skin I have and what I need to be targeting. My recommendations for Sharon Jo are to try to prevent the pores from getting clogged with retinoids and salicylic acid and to try to cut down the bacteria level on her skin using benzoyl peroxide or topical antibiotics. Anti-inflammatories will help her as well. Now I've had a chance to get to know each one of you and look at you closely in the exam rooms and take some extra readings. So now we're going to talk through your skin type and I'm gonna give you some more helpful hints. So Sharon Joe, we're gonna start with you. So your skin type comes out to be OSNW. That means oily sensitive, non-pigmented, tendency to wrinkle, OSNW. <laughs> well, it's important to know about the tendency to wrinkle so you can take steps to avoid that. You are very young, but it's never too early to start trying to prevent things. 